Hello, this is CP Edit, and in this video, we'll be solving the remove max number of edges to keep graph fully traversable problem. This problem appeared in weekly contest 205 of lead code. So let's get started. So in this problem, we are given a graph which has three types of edges. So red type of edges can be traversed by only Alice. Green type of edges can be traversed by only Bob and blue edges can be traversed by both of them. So any one of them can traverse through blue edges. So we have to remove maximum number of edges from this graph so that both Alice and Bob can traverse through all the cities. So if so, for example, in this case, if we remove these two edges between 1 and 2 and 1 and 3 Bob will still be able to traverse each city and Alice will also be able to traverse each city because suppose Alice starts from 1 then she can move to 2 and 3 and from 2 she can move to 4 so it is still forming a tree so let's see what we can observe from this problem so i have created the same graph here and one thing we can notice is suppose we have a choice between two types of edges and those type of edges are blue and red so blue can be traversed by both of them and red can be traversed by only alice so suppose we have this case there is no point to choose the red edge over blue edge because if we do so this blue edge will be removed and suppose it was connecting the cities for bob it will not be doing so in the future so we are removing a possibility for bob even though we have the possibility Suppose we also had a green edge here. Suppose we also had a green edge here. So in that case, we can remove two edges and we can have only blue edge here because both of them can traverse from this edge and there's no point to keep two edges. So I think you get the idea that we, we should be preferring blue edge so prefer blue edge and second thing which you can notice which you might have noticed till now is there is no point to keep more blue edges than required so suppose we also had a blue edge here at this place we need not consider any one of these so we we won't be using the blue edge from here or here or from this point we just want two edges because if we also include this edge it would be redundant so we can remove any one of these edge so the idea is to create a tree from these given blue edges first so we'll be having one two and three so all these are in one component so i'm writing it as one component formed by blue only blue edges so if we can reach any one of these cities we can reach any of these other cities connected in this component so we just need to connect these cities with any other edge so since we have used all the blue edges there is only way to use red or blue edges to connect all other components so another component which we are having is having node 4 so we have to connect this 4 to this node and how we can use that do that so we can see that 4 can be connected to this component by a red edge so we can connect 4 with a red edge and we can also connect 4 with a green edge to this earlier component so we can also connect it to this edge so how do we proceed this problem 
so first thing that we noticed is was that we can create multiple components using only blue edges so suppose we create multiple components using blue edges and suppose these components are having various number of edges and these components be c1 c2 c3 and so on so the remaining task is to connect all these components using blue or red edges only sorry green and red edges only so we first try to connect them using only green edges so if we can connect c1 c2 and c3 using only green edges then we try to connect these edges with only red edges will be trying to connect these components using only red edges and if we are able to do so we can remove all the other remaining edges so how do we see how many edges we need to remove so in this example we can see we can keep track of the edges which we have used so if we are connecting two components and the number of components are decreasing by one suppose we are connecting one and two see one is a component second two is another component three is another component and four is another component and we have used the blue edge first so let's connect them so if we connect them and the number of components have decreased so these now form a single component so we have used this edge then we connect these two components these two components also reduces the number of components so we have used two edges and using this edge won't decrease the number of components so this edge is not used in our solution so we won't be counting that so when at the end we just need to count the number of edges which we use and the answer and the fun, final answer will be total number of edges minus edges used and now you might be considering the fact that we might not be able to connect all the components so how we can track that we'll just check if all the components after connecting uh, correspond to the same set so all the components should have the same set in this part and this part as well so let's see how we can code this problem so we just create an independent set for each of the node and then we merge all the nodes using only the blue edges so we are using only blue edges to merge them and after that we are making the same copy of the dsu so you might wonder what this is doing a dsu can be represented by a single array so we make a copy of that dsu because we will be trying to merge all the components using only green edges and red edges as well so we need two sets so we make a copy of that set and after that we are trying to merge all the components using only green edges and then we are trying to merge all the components in p2 using red edges and after that we are just checking if all the elements belong to the same component and at the end the answer will be number of edges minus the number of edges which we have used so this is a simple code for dsu we just need two functions find set and merge so yeah 
that's all for this solution i hope you liked this one see you in the next one please like share and subscribe thank you